my first haul of 2015. In my past two videos, um, I asked you guys if you guys wanted me to do monthly hauls or just do them like at random, and most of you guys wanted monthly hauls, so I'm going to go ahead and do those every single month for you guys. So this would be my January one. I have a lot of clothes and beauty items, so I'm just going to start with the clothes. Also, excuse my voice, I've been sick for like two weeks, so I think you can still kind of hear it. My throat is like killing me. Also, yes, I did get a haircut. No, I'm not too crazy about it, so... Yeah, let's just ignore it. <laughs> so I'm just gonna get started because this intro is getting like way too long. So yeah. One of the first things I'm gonna show you guys is from Triangle and it is one of their bikinis. Triangle was nice enough to send me a bikini. No, this is not sponsored. I was not asked to show you guys this, but I really like it. So I'm just gonna show you. And I got the purple and black one. I have one that's the bright blue and just bright blue. Um, so I thought that I would keep it the same and just kind of have a solid one. I was gonna get a colored one, like one of the um, ones with the different colors on it, but I decided to just go ahead and get this one. And then it has the matching bottoms, which are purple, and they have like orange on the inside. Not a bunch of stuff at Zara, because as you guys know, it's kind of like the end of their like San annual sale. They have two sales a year, and it's kind of like the end of the first one. And this first shirt, I'm not 100% sure on it. I like the idea of it, and I kind of have this outfit in mind, but I'm not sure if I like it. Um, and it, it's this navy blue shirt, and it has all these like cutouts on it obviously so I thought that I could wear this with like a nude tank top underneath and just match it with a navy blue like pencil skirt or something or like a flared navy blue skirt and then just kind of like you would just see the print um, I don't know I just that idea sounds really cool but uh, let me know in the comments below if you guys like it this was $15 originally 35 so it was a pretty good deal so um, yeah let me know in the comments below if you guys like this or if you don't like it to see if I keep it or not to go along with that, I got a uh, nude tank top, um, just because I needed to like see how it works in outfits. Um, and this was just regular, it wasn't on sale or anything, but it was $9.90, which is an awesome deal. You can't really find stuff like this at Forever 21, and it's a really nice, like, stretchy material, so I thought that was a really good buy. As well at Zara, this is a really good deal. I got these tweed shorts, and it has like a little bit of like distressing on the bottom of it. Um, and they're just like high-waisted black and white tweed um, and these were also $15 and then the biggest thing that I got at Zara is another cape and this one it's black and it has these two buttons and then it has the two cutouts for your arms and this one's a bit longer than the sorry the lighting's getting all weird um, this is a, bit, a little bit longer than the other black one that I have from H&M uh, and the arms are different I really like the way this one looks and it just looks a lot warmer and stuff so I really really love it and this was on sale for $49 H&M I actually only got one thing and it is a coat and this is a light pink open coat I have this exact same one in black which I use a lot um, in the fall and winter so this one will be perfect for like the spring and the end of winter I just think it's like really really cute and a light pink which I don't own anything in that color so I'm like totally obsessed with it from Forever 21 I got three things one of them is this midi skirt and it is black with some white checkers on it and it's kind of like flared at the bottom and when you move it just like really like spins around a lot and I just think it looks really really cute um, it's a really nice thin material so this would be great for the spring and the summer I also got this dress and it is a white quarter sleeve top with this like houndstooth bottom with some um, fake pockets um, and I just think it just looks so classy and elegant and it just like it already has two pieces so it looks like I put it together but really it's just all one piece which is really really handy if you're in a rush. The last thing I got for 21 was a long trench coat. I have a trench coat already but it's like a thick material. It's from H&M and it's really really short so it like hits kind of like above like right below my bum basically and this one's just really really long so it kind of makes me feel like Sherlock Holmes or something I feel like a detective but I just think it's really really cute and it ties I can tie it at the back when I'm wearing it open which I can't do with the other one because the um the tie thingy, the belt is too, is too short. These are like the only clothing pieces that I have. Everything else is kind of like accessories, like scarves and stuff. So I'm gonna go ahead with that. Um, so I got this scarf from Lord and Taylor, and it is a checkered scarf. And this is a navy blue, emerald green, and black checkered. And it's so 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 soft. And I love wearing this with like a navy coat. I just think it just looks really really pretty. From the bay, I got these three berets because I didn't have any in these colors. So this one is a navy blue. And I just think it's super super cute and I've already worn it a bunch of times. Uh, I also got the same one in a burgundy kind of color. You guys might have seen this if you follow me on my blog or Instagram. And then I also got one in like a pale kind of grey which I think is really really pretty and it goes with a lot of things. What I love about these ones from the Bay is that they are really wide so they won't leave that marker on your 
around your forehead, which is really nice. I also got a new robe because the one that I had, I have a few different robes for different occasions. So I have like my silk ones and then I have like a really thin gray one. If you guys want me to do a whole video on like what robes I use for what things, just because I have way too many, um, I can do that for you. But anyway, I needed one that was like when you first get up in the morning and it's like really cozy and warm because it's winter obviously. And the one that I was using, I had since I was in like grade seven and it had these turtles on it and it's really embarrassing. I still keep it in my bathroom though because I don't want to get rid of it. But anyway, I needed a new one. So I got this fuzzy long, big collared robe and it just kind of reminds me of those like fancy hotels kind of thing and it's so soft so it's really really long so I'm obsessed with it um, I got this at Winners I love wearing these kind of like lace bodysuits underneath dresses in the summer just because I don't like it if my skirt or dress or whatever flares out and I'm not wearing proper underwear <laughs> Um, because it's uncomfortable for me. Um, I like having something underneath just in case. So I kind of like to wear these little lacy ones. And this was only $5 at win uh, Winners. So I was like, okay, I'm just going to get this because it's super cute. Well, from Winners, I got this headband. And it is like a magenta, burgundy, pinkish red kind of color. Um, and it has these two little furry pom-poms. And I just thought this was so cute. And it's such a twist. I usually wear like, the ones that are bows like this one. So this one's just a little bit different. And I just thought it was really, really cute. From Le Chateau, I got this bag. And it looks really similar to a black and white one that I got. But this one is the cream version. And I just thought this would be perfect for the spring and summer because it's such a light color. Um, I have a couple of purses kind of like this shape but a little bit darker than this, so I don't have one that was this light other than like pure white. So this will be really, really nice, so I'm excited about that. Um, from Icing, that's kind of like Claire's, um, I got this black headband because I didn't have a black one. And funny thing is, so I went in and it was uh, $3.99 on sale, and I was like, whatever, I'm just gonna get it because I need a black one anyway. And then I got to the cash, and they're like, oh, it scans at a penny, and since we don't have pennies in Canada, it just rounds down. So the girl just gave it to me for free, so I was really excited that I got it for free. I also went to Kate Spade, and I got this little bag and this is a little small crossbody one and it has kind of like this plaid print on it which I think is really cute especially for the winter um, and it's just small enough that it'll carry my phone and my wallet my small wallet um, so this will be great if I'm like walking around getting ice cream or something and I don't want to carry a big bag so the rest of the stuff that I have are just beauty items so if I've mentioned them before on my channel I'm just gonna kind of like zoom through them so I'm not talking about it forever so um, one of the first things that I got is Finally, I got the Coco Mademoiselle Twist and Spray Travel Spray. I've been wanting to buy this for my purse for so long, I just didn't want to spend like $90 on it. So um, I finally, I had a big gift card, so I'm like, I'm just going to buy it. So I went in and just bought it. So it comes with the actual bottle and then you like twist it and then you can spray so it won't spray in your purse or anything, which is nice. There's a refill in here already and then it comes with two of these little mini bottles. So then you can just refill it yourself. So, and then after that, when you finish these ones, you can just go into the store and just buy the refill so you don't have to pay for the whole um, canister. So that's really exciting. I've been wanting this for my purse for like so long. Um, I got this lip gloss, lip balm type thing. I mentioned this in my what's in my bag video because I just got it. And this is the Clarence um, Instant Light Natural Lip Perfector and I've been like really, really loving this. I got a lipstick from Dior and this is the Dior Addict Extreme in... The number 433, Delise Extreme, I don't know what the color of that is, um, but it is basically a bright orange color, which will be really, really fun for the summertime. I love kind of just dabbing it on my lips. That way it just gives it like a little bit of an orangey kind of tint to it, which I really like. Um, I got a L'Oreal Infallible Ultra Slim Felt Tip Liner because it's my favorite one. I use this all the time. I've mentioned this in my channel before. Um, I also got a refill for my um, nighttime moisturizer that I use, and this is the Avene Light Hydrating Cream. So I've mentioned this previously in my videos before. It's probably like my third bottle. Um, I had to buy another one of the Macadamia Natural Oil Deep Repair Masks. A lot of people, a lot of YouTubers have raved about this. It's one of the best products for your hair. I absolutely love it, and this is probably like my fourth or fifth like tub of this. So one of the things I actually want to actually talk about is the Kardashian Beauty Dry Conditioner. Now, I'm not a Kardashian fan. I'm sorry if you are. I just do not like them at all. But I did hear good things about dry conditioners. And I use dry shampoo all the time. And I understand about the feeling of like dryness and the ends of your hair. And if I put more oil in my hair, since my hair is so flat, it's just going to get like weighed down. Especially when it's like 
greasier so i decided to try this it had really good reviews and i am obsessed honestly go find your closest retailer that sells this brand and buy it it is so good it makes my hair feel so shiny it doesn't weigh it down i absolutely love it it does have a strong fragrance to it so keep that in mind when you're buying it but i absolutely love it um, i also bought a refill of my um my sunscreen that I use and this is the Shiseido Gentle Sun Protection Lotion for Sensitive Skin and Babies 6 months of age and over and this is SPF 33 and this is the sunscreen that I use every single day so I just got this because my other one's about to run out I also bought the Nivea Cream, um, I, this is a refill so um, I use these every single morning before I get into the shower so I'll put it all over my face, it's very very thick so if you have extremely oily skin I don't recommend this for you. My skin is semi oily, it gets oily throughout the day but it's really dry in the morning so I've been using this as sort of like a mask so I'll put it on my face in the morning and then shower and take it off in the shower. I also bought this body brush from the body shop because I really wanted to try dry brushing and I've only been doing it for a couple of weeks. And and I really love this how soft it feels my skin so um, I might do like a whole video on it once I get the hang of it got the two more hair products and one of them is the Garnier Fruit Tees style um, texture tees and this is on sale for like two dollars when I went so that's the only reason I bought it really but this is really great for when I want to put my hair up in clips or if I want to braid it or something because my hair is fairly silky it doesn't have that much texture to it so um, this will just kind of add a little bit more texture which is really nice so I'll have a bit more grip to it and then this is awesome. This stuff is actually really good. This is the Garnier Fruit Teas Triple Nutrition Oil and Spray. So it's a oil, but it's in a spray. So if I just like straightened or curl my hair, I will put like a little bit in my hand or something and then just drag it through or just directly spray it depending on how many flyaways I have. And it's really, really nice because it's really light and it won't weigh down your hair. And the very last thing that I have for this haul is going to be like a really random thing and it is Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory, the original one, not the Tim Burton version because that version sucks. Um, I really like this version, it's super super fun and I just really like watching it and I didn't have it on DVD and it was like $4 so I'm like, I'm just gonna buy it. And yeah, that is everything that I have for this haul, I hope you guys liked it. Um, leave a comment below telling me if I should keep that shirt or not. And I will see you guys in my next video, bye!